What we've experienced, we tend to expect, and what we expect, we often think we're getting. That's the simple description of it. What actually takes place is that because we have learned that there can be objects that can be real problems, like, where have you been? You know, Why are you late? Um, then we're primed to watch out for them. That's when we, the safe thing is to expect it. The psychoanalyst is called upon to treat a large variety of symptoms that cause terrible suffering and sap our freedom to live lives to the full, or even to know what that would be like. Freud's efforts opened a large door to the possibility of a real science that would allow clinicians to work with certainty and confidence. But to my surprise, when I began training in 1968, no one had entered the room, so to speak, and no one was interested in doing so. The problem is not different, whether it's uh, in transference, internally, in memory, or externally, the objects sitting over there. The solution is the same, and ultimately the solution is internally that we want. So we use the transference because it's a replica of what is going on internally. If you get a significant number that improved in the treatment group, you conclude that um, we've got this, this treatment works, so we've got proof of it. Uh, now, it doesn't tell you at all about cause. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, young people today, I think, are getting the impression that that is science and the sort of thing that I do, or what has been done in medicine, like what Banting and Best did, uh, is, is a not real science. When I did so myself, I saw the scientific method, as it's called, and remembered its power in general medicine to track symptoms to root causes and allow complete cures. It never occurred to me to go back. Then, over the next several years, I had the exhilarating experience of developing such a science, while my profession and its critics actively resisted that goal, buried Freud, meaning his theories, and moved farther and farther away from it. Robertson Davies says, I don't get them, they get me. It was generally considered that they came from the unconscious, but beyond that, I think people didn't know. In analytic theory, that would fit with the idea of a derivative. And that's what I found. I mean, those poems were coming from my depths, but they were coming out as derivatives. 